Hey, what's up guys? Benny here and welcome to another Call of Duty Warzone video. One of the most important things with Warzone is of course being able to land your shots on your opponents. Whether that's in short range gunfights or if you're trying to take someone out at a distance with a sniper rifle. So in this video, we're going to learn how to get better aim in Warzone. I'm going to run you through everything that you need to know from the best settings for improved accuracy, along with things that you need to be thinking about and doing in game to help you land your shots as well as drills that you can do before you even hop into a game that's going to make you a better player which is why i'm making this video a lot of new players have just come into call of duty warzone for the first time as it's completely free to play and i want everyone to have the best possible chance for success and get those wins so first up let's talk settings before you even play a match you need to make sure that you've got the best settings possible and for your accuracy that's mainly down to your stick sensitivity aim down sight sensitivity multiplier along with your aim response curve and also the type of aim assist you choose will affect your accuracy in call of duty warzone so first things first, your sensitivity. As a rule of thumb, the lower sensitivity, the more overall control you have. The higher sensitivity, the more reactive you can be. So there's a trade-off. In normal multiplayer, having a higher sensitivity can be really beneficial as you'll get in a lot more gunfights and it's more likely for someone to suddenly come from the side and start shooting you and you just don't have that much time to react. So a higher sensitivity like a five or a six could really pay off however you're never going to be able to be consistently accurate at a high sensitivity with players playing on like a 10 or a 12 there's that higher margin for error with your thumbsticks which is why professional players more often than not play on a lower sensitivity like back when i was competing i was playing on a two and that is why in call of duty warzone because you're going to be in fights less often and it's going to be crucial you're landing your shots when you do i recommend using a lower sensitivity such as a four horizontal and vertical stick sensitivity that's going to be the perfect balance of being able to scan your environment to spot enemy players and having a good level of control which is going to make you have better aim the next thing you're going to want to adjust is your ads sensitivity multiplier now what i do is turn down my low zoom weapons down to a 0.88 this makes your aim down sight sensitivity around a 3.5 which means you can make those small adjustments a lot smoother to be able to land headshots a lot more often which means you're just going to get more kills you won't notice the difference right away but after a couple of weeks you'll be surprised by your accuracy stats then i keep my ads high zoom ads sensitivity as default so i can track enemies moving in a vehicle at a distance and not fall behind when I'm using a sniper. You then have three aim response curves to choose from. Standard, which is a simple power curve map from aim stick to aim rate. Linear, which is where your thumbstick movement directly relates to your aim rate. And then dynamic, which is a reverse S curve mapping for fine aim rate control. Honestly, I've tried them all and recommend just sticking with standard. Then for aim assist, you can have it disabled, which you're never going to want to do. Standard, which is the traditional Call of Duty feel. Precision, which if you're an experienced player and already have very good accuracy, can be incredibly effective at being able to land those headshots. And then focusing, which is for those of you that have never really played a first person shooter before, but I would recommend just getting used to the standard aim assist, as in the long run, that really is the best option. Now, for getting better aim in Call of Duty Warzone, those are the only settings you need to really worry about. I did make a video covering all other settings in the game, which you can check out after this video for everything else. Now that we've got our settings right, we now need to start thinking of real Call of Duty Warzone scenarios that you're going to find yourself in. One of the big factors that's going to affect your accuracy is knowing when to fire whilst aiming down sights and also when to use hip fire. Remember, you're more accurate whilst aiming down sights as you can control your recoil, but you've got a lot less mobility. I always suggest if you're using a weapon like an SMG, you can get away with aiming down sights in almost all situations. However, firing from the hip can be really effective when you're right in an opponent's face and you have a wide range of movement options available to you, which is going to make it hard for them to hit you, like jumping over a rock, for example. Also, weapons with a high rate of fire are going to be far more reliable when 
then firing from the hip. So an assault rifle like an M13, you've still got a good chance of taking down your opponent. However, you'll notice the majority of my kills come from aiming down sights because it's far more consistent than hip firing. I tend to use hip firing more of a last resort because of the fast paced time to kill nature of Call of Duty Warzone. My next tip to get better aim in Call of Duty Warzone is a lot of gunfights are going to happen at medium range, which is why you're going to want to make sure that you're consistently burst firing. I cannot tell you the amount of time someone just doesn't burst fire and control their gun's recoil and just gets completely annihilated because of it. You're never going to win games of Warzone if you're just holding down the trigger and not controlling your gun's recoil, which is why burst firing is crucial. Fire in short controlled bursts by just tapping your trigger, let your gun recenter and fire again. It doesn't take much time at all to do that, but you'll be landing a far more significant amount of your shots and are just going to be more likely to pick up your kill and not just burn through your ammo magazine. Also, remember in Call of Duty Warzone, there's bullet travel time and the map is pretty large. So one of the best things that you can get into the habit of doing when firing against moving targets to improve your aim is to start aiming in front of your target targets and then slowing down your tracking whilst burst firing until you land your shots and then maintain that movement speed with your thumbstick. This means that you're tracking your opponent movement speed properly rather than just trying to snap onto your opponent and hoping you've gauged it correctly. Always start in front and then slow down your tracking until they effectively just run into your gunfire. It sounds simple but it's something that a lot of players just don't do. The next thing that you're going to want to do to improve your aim in Call of Duty Warzone is to learn to center your crosshairs as you move around the world. What I mean by this is you're always effectively aiming at something, whether it's a corner of a building, a doorway or a window that you think is the most likely place that an enemy could appear. This means that you're best prepared to start firing at an opponent as quickly as possible. Also, your accuracy is just going to get better as you'll get so used to guiding your crosshairs onto potential potential danger points and it's also just going to help improve your overall game sense and just make you a better warzone player most players actually start centering without ever thinking about it but if you actively add it to your game plan you're just going to become a much better player one of the really cool unique things with Call of Duty Warzone for a Battle Royale is the fact that you can get your very own customized loadout to use in the game. And as you'll know from any Call of Duty in the past, having the best loadout setup is going to give you a big advantage. Now, this is the class that I use. The M4A1 with the Corvus Custom Marksman Barrel, the Viper Reflex Sight, the Commando Foregrip, a 60 round magazine, and stippled grip tape. Now, this particular setup for the M4 isn't a laser beam like some of the other setups, but using everything that you've learned in this video, like burst firing, allows you to take on full squads of enemies without having to worry about needing to duck out to reload your weapons. The ability to apply a lot of pressure on your opponents without having to reload as often is a big advantage itself in a battle royale. Then because I use the overkill perk, I then have the HDR sniper rifle as my secondary weapon, which has almost non-existent bullet drop over most distances that you're going to be fighting at. So it's an easy sniper rifle to be accurate with, and you'll be able to line those one-shot headshot kills with ease. Just remember to aim in front of your targets if they're moving at a distance, and you're going to rack up so many kills because sniping in Call of Duty Warzone is crucial to success. On the HDR itself, I use the monolithic suppressor so opponents can't hear where I'm shooting from, the 26.9 HDR Pro Barrel, the Merc Thermal Optic, and the F-Tac Stalker Scout stock. And then also I've got the focus perk so I can hold my breath for longer to line those long distance shots up perfectly if and when I need to. I then use cold blooded so I don't appear on other thermal sites as clearly and tune up so I can revive my teammates quickly when they go down. Then a claymore to cover my back when I'm in a building and stim so if I do get caught in the gas, I have a higher chance of getting out alive when my gas mask breaks. So you've got the best settings. You know when to aim down sights and when to hip fire, how to control your gun's recoil and land your shots more frequently at a distance and even centering your crosshairs onto potentially dangerous locations as you move around the map. You've even got a pretty solid class loadout that's won me a lot of games, but the most important thing to do to help you get better aim in Call of Duty Warzone is to practice. And that's where this drill comes into play. 
Now, what you want to do is once you've got all the settings set up, is hop into the game's Battle Royale practice. This allows you to play against bots in Call of Duty Warzone and not just work on landing all your shots on a consistent basis and just practice on getting your accuracy better when you go up against a real player. But it's also a great opportunity to get used to the game's time to kill and other game mechanics like completing contracts and using the buy station. But practice, practice, practice really does help make you as accurate as possible. Just remember all those little tips that you've learned throughout this video and make sure that you put them to practice and you'll notice an improvement in your aim in no time at all. But there we have it. How to improve your accuracy in Call of Duty Warzone. If you've got any other tips yourself to improve your aim, please do share them down in the comments below and subscribe for more Call of Duty Warzone and other Battle Royale content. Smash the like button and I'll see you guys next time.